Hello guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, please make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on so that you guys will get to know every time when I drop a new video out. Please help me reach 4000 subscribers before the end of this month and I'm really grateful and thankful for the support that you guys have shown. Now let's get into the video. So this week Konami actually released uh, 5 plays, 5 new iconic moments plays and yes people are running behind points and even I'm short of points because I claim Robson. I never knew Konami will drop a bomb like this and uh, yes it's going to be tough to claim the points. So in this video I'll tell you guys how you can claim the points by playing some match days. And uh, another way you can get the points is that every Tuesday I do a giveaway. I give away 10,000 eFootball points to 15 lucky people. And um, you guys can comment on Tuesday's video. Every Tuesday I drop a new video where you will have to follow the rules and comment down below in that video. So I will announce the winners on Thursdays normally. So yeah. And the winners will get the points within four or five days and uh, last week's winners like three or four of them haven't got the points yet so i will have to finish them too so in this video i will tell you guys how you can get more eFootball points by playing match days that is the konami match days they will release uh, round two actually and i will explain the rewards in detail i'll explain all the information in detail so yeah guys watch the full video and uh, if you have any doubts you can just comment down below a few weeks back uh, there was open round one and I think that everybody must have played it and uh, for those who have played it users who scored 2000 points or more in that round will be eligible for online qualifiers round two. So yeah I think majority of the people must have played that eFootball open round one and uh, they must have scored 2000 points or above easily because um, it was actually there was no match limit or nothing at all you can play how many matches ever you wanted so yeah everybody must have completed it so for the people who completed round one they can get into round two which will start on january the 15th and these are qualifiers for the finals so yes you have to complete a certain amount of matches and win a certain amount of matches so here is the table all users will get 500 e points for scoring a goal and uh, yes it is not confirmed whether you get per, for per goal or for goals in total I have no idea but then all I know for now is that you'll get 500 points for scoring a goal so there are five matches and for a win you'll get three points each and for a draw I guess you'll get one so here we have five matches and you need 12 points which means four wins and uh, a draw might work so yeah you need four wins in order to qualify to the next round that is the finals so now the main question is that what happens if you don't qualify for the finals or you don't get the four wins what will happen whether you'll get the points well don't worry guys you will get the points from this round like you'll get the eFootball points from this round so it will be according to the points that you gained in this round like for example for 12 points that is 4 wins you will get 1000 eFootball points for 9 points which is 3 wins you will get 600 eFootball points for 6 points which is actually 2 wins you will get 400 eFootball points and for 3 points which is 1 win you will get 200 eFootball points and for 1 goal it's written you'll get 500 points well it's not yet confirmed whether it's for each goal or for scoring 1 goal at all I don't know you will get 500 points for scoring a goal so the finals will start on 5th June 2021 and yes it is available for the players who only got four wins in round two so they will get into the finals they will play the matches and yes it's going to be really tough and uh, if you get four wins in this finals then you'll get a total of 3800 points plus which is an aggregate and uh, I just added all the points up and this is just a sum maybe it might be more maybe it might be less but you'll get close to this and you'll get these many points so by the end of this competition if you get into the finals and get all the wins you'll get these points so even if you don't get all the wins you'll still get the points like last round like for 12 points you'll get 1000 eFootball points for 9 points which is 3 wins you will get 600 eFootball points for 6 points which is 2 wins you'll get 400 eFootball points it's similar to the last round 
So once the finals are over, it's over guys, there are no more rounds left. So this is how you can get more eFootball points by playing the eFootball Open. So you guys can see there's a huge boost in the points compared to the normal match days where they used to give like 200 points each. So guys don't miss this out because this is the best opportunity for you guys to get more eFootball points in order to claim the iconics that you guys need. I would like to wish everyone the best of luck because it is going to be really tough and competitive and uh, yes, be careful guys, nullers will surely get banned. If you are a nuller, you must stop it because if you do that during the eFootball period, you will surely get banned. And uh, yes, the matches are going to be really competitive and tough so there are hard times yet to come. So best of luck guys and thank you for watching this video. Hopefully this video was informative and will answer to all of your questions. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet and help me reach 4000 subscribers as soon as possible. Like and comment down below and uh, guys please share the video to your friends if they have any doubt all their doubts will get cleared too. So yeah guys stay tuned for more amazing and interesting content and see you guys next time.